Hey guys, this is Meds on Tip, and today we're going to be talking about engines and how you can get them and what the different ones do. So, let's have a look at the equipment tab under this leaderboard section thingy and then go to engine. And then you'll notice there is a list of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven engines on this list. However, only three as of now can be used. And these are the gravity drive, the skip drive, and the stuff drive. The others haven't been released yet, so so if if you're watching this video in the future, I might not have covered uh, the others. Anyways, the first one that has been out in this list is the gravity drive. You'll notice here, gravity drives have four things. They have these three bonuses here, so they add one equip point. Uh, one evasion, 1.5 hit chance if it was a common, and and that also and the bonuses also increases as you increase rarity. Apart from the the equip points, the number of equip points isn't affected by what rarity it is. So it doesn't matter from common to ultimate, you'll still get one more equip point only from a gravity drive. But anyway, um, what its main use is is to make you instantly jump to another sector. Not always, as there is a percentage chance. So here with an un uncommon one, you can see there's a 14% chance of instant jump. And it goes all the way up to ultimate, where it's 24%. What is meant by instant jump is that when you jump to a sector, you don't have to wait any time, regardless of what your normal movement time is, to jump onto the other sector. And that chance of that happening increases as you get a higher rarity gravity drive. Also notice that um, these engines, well, these gravity drives, they don't use up any equip points. Likewise with the other engines. Now, the two the two ways you can get a gravity drive um, is by trading with other players, of course, and the other way is by using reward is by redeeming reward points to get it. I think it costs fifty reward points, and you'll get an uncommon one. So if you type colon reward uh, gravity drive or something like that, I think, then you'll get a gravity drive, as long as you have enough re reward points to redeem it. Anyways, let's go on to the next engine, which is the skip drive. Now, what the skip drive does is that it makes you near instantly jump to any way you like, really. So. If you jumped from one sector to another, it's only like a few milliseconds until you have to wait for the next jump. And as with the gravity drive, the evasion and hit chance bonuses also increase as it get higher rarity. But notice how there's also something that decreases. You may think this is a bad thing, but it's actually quite good. And here's why. Notice how it says here for this common skip drive, it says 25% chance of durab durability loss. What that means is, every time you jump, there's a 75% chance that nothing will happen to it, but there's a 25% chance that it will go down, that the durability of that skip drive will go down by 1%. So, um, increasing the rarity is actually better because it means that it won't, uh, the durability won't go down as much and will last longer if you have, say for example, ultimate or precursor, uh, rather than a common or uncommon skip drive. So anyway, on to the next and final engine that can be used as of now. And pretty much nearly everyone's favourite, the stealth drive. Now notice how there are two things with the stealth drive that, that is in light blue text. One of them says silent movement, the other says invisible to scanning. Now, although it says silent movement, it doesn't it isn't really silent. What they mean by that is that if someone with a skip drive jumps onto the sector you are, or you jump onto a sector where there is someone with a skip drive, and they move to another sector, you won't be able to tell where they went. So normally, if someone didn't have a skip drive, it would say, uh, for example, Mensa went northeast or southwest or wherever. But if someone has a skip drive, I've, sorry, not skip drive, sorry, not skip drive, stealth drive. Then I think it would say something along the lines of this person slipped into the void or something like that. 
Um, as well as having these extra bonuses for increasing the rarity, there is another there is another use for increasing the rarity as well. So, um, if someone else had a special item called Scout on, and the durab sorry not durability so in, and the rarity of that was higher than your stealth drive, then they would actually be able to see you. I'm not exactly sure how that works because I've never used one yet, but so I may be wrong, but oh well. And the other thing here is says invisible to scanning. So what that basically means is that if you are near a garrison that has scanners enabled, then you won't be detected by whichever alliance no, whichever corporation the garrison belongs to and everyone else in their alliance. Compared to if you didn't have the stealth drive, and so you would be seen quite easily on the map. So that's the end of my video. Don't forget to subscribe to Meds on Tip and hit that like but sorry and hit that like button. If you have any questions or want to make any suggestions to any videos I could do, then please comment underneath the video. And I'll see you next time. Happy tipping.